Hello again, people of the internet. Today's video is going to be about dealing with other people and like emotions after losing my hearing. This is kind of like, it's in the context of like hearing loss, but I think this is kind of good advice in general. So, um, yes, yeah, so my first point, this, my, the first section of this video I'm going to do about like thing like how to deal with other people and the second half is going to be more about how like how to deal with emotions. So my first point is um, don't be too worried about seeming rude like at, at the end of the day like if people aren't don't put, like, don't put yourself at a big inconvenience to stop someone else being at a small inconvenience. Um, like, I can't hear anything, so if I'm sat at a table, I need to make sure I'm in a good place so I can see other people so I, I can understand what they're saying. But, like, I'm the kind of person, like, if someone's already kind of decided on a seat, I wouldn't go... Oh, like, I need to sit there because that's the best, that's where I can see everyone. I kind of wouldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. But you, sh like, you should, you, you, you should, because otherwise, um, otherwise you're just, you're going to, you're, you're going to just be putting yourself at, like, a big disadvantage and, you know, it's, it's less of an inconvenience for them than it is to you. And people probably won't mind as much as you kind of think they'll mind. Um, it's not even like I'm asked. It's not even like I think people will mind. I just don't. I hate inconveniencing anyone. Um, I'm one of those people that everyone just finds me really annoying because I'm like, I. I just don't ever like. I'm not the kind of person. I'm, I'm the kind of person that's just like, oh, just do whatever you want, just do whatever, and people are like, no, I actually do want you to tell me what, what you want me to do, <laughs> don't, like, that you're being unhelpful, not helpful, so, sometimes you need to just say, and not worried, be worried about it feeling, seeming rude. My second point is, don't be, like, ashamed or embarrassed of things that you can't do anything about. Like, it's not my fault that I'm deaf, you know, I can't, I can't do anything about it, so I'm try, I'm trying to stop saying sorry all the time, like, like, sorry, sorry, I didn't hear that, sorry, sorry, you know, like, because I'm not, like, I'm not actually sorry, you know, I didn't choose to be deaf, I don't want to be deaf, um, I don't want to be struggling to understand you and it's not my fault so you know I'm not sorry <laughs> so I've started people get one sorry and that's if they don't know that I'm deaf so if someone starts talking and I don't answer I'm like oh sorry I'm deaf and then after that they just get up oh, what <laughs> I don't understand you um, if people are like covering their mouths and stuff and I've already told them not to, then they get a, what makes you think I can understand you? <laughs> you know, like I d you know, I'm trying to be a bit more um, direct because apologizing isn't helpful. You know, I can't, this, this isn't my fault, so. Um, my third point is try to have a bit of a sense of humour, um, like sometimes I mishear things and um, I think instead of just being, instead of being embarrassed about it, I think it's best just to try and have a bit of a sense of humour about it. I think the best one I've done was um, my mum was talking about below deck Mediterranean. Um, it's like a TV program. If you if you don't know what it is, you're really not missing very much. So I wouldn't worry. Um, 
it's about like a crew on a super yacht or whatever it's like a stupid reality tv thing i don't watch it but she does um and she was saying that the people on there need to get their tips and i misheard that as the people need to get their tits out <laughs> and i was like what sort of program are you watch <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, well, that's kind of funny. So, um, another one I got got mixed up was um, my my brothers or something were talking about Tottenham Hotspurs, the football team. I heard I got that as wasn't wearing a hat, <laughs> but um, yeah. So that was quite funny. You know, um, but you know you just have a bit of a sense of humor about it it's you know it's better to laugh about it than just be embarrassed um my next point is just being honest like don't try and pretend you've understood things when you haven't don't try and um don't try and look interested when you're actually bored to tears like just just try and be honest like sometimes, sometimes I can tend to be a bit like, I just pretend to understand things where I haven't. And it's just, there's no point doing that. It doesn't benefit anyone. So I think being honest is always the best approach. Um, my next point would be to like stand up for yourself a bit, like have a bit of, um, have a bit of confidence to like, speak to people and and you know say what you need and call people out when they're not helping you um you know just try and actually have a bit of confidence to say something because i'm not very good at that i need i'm really i'm really trying to learn how to do these things but um yeah try and have a bit of confidence stand up for yourself and now is on to the um, emotional things. So the two main emotional issues I have been having surrounding losing my hearing are massive boredom and massive frustration. Um, with regards to boredom, um, like, there, it's kind of when you're in a group of people and everyone else is talking and you have absolutely no idea what anyone's saying until someone kind of taps me asks me a question kind of i give my response and they just kind of go back to talking and it's like well i guess that was my contribution to this topic that i'm still not entirely sure what the rest of the conversation was about um like you know in poorly made, like, in, like, cheaply made cartoons where there are, like, the people kind of drawn onto the background that just kind of aren't animated? Like, all the other characters are moving and there's just, like, people that are just drawn on and don't move. I feel like I'm one of those sometimes in social events. Like, I feel like I'm just one of the background characters that hasn't been animated. So... If I'm, start if I'm starting to feel like that at, like a social gathering or something or you know in any situation where I'm around other people I just um get up and leave I just say I have no idea what anyone's saying I can't understand anything and I'm getting really bored so I'm just gonna leave and then I just leave I think that's kind of the best approach um I think that's better than just sitting there because otherwise people just don't know and I mean, no one really cares that much if you just leave. And it might make people think a bit more about kind of considering you in the future. So that's what I do. <laughs> um, my, um, yeah, so if people are ignoring me, I just leave. I have, if they're not giving me their kind of attention, I don't need to spend all my attention just sitting there not contributing anything so i'm just gonna go and also try to do activities where you don't need to be able to hear because you've got to do some stuff so 
<laughs> you may as well do something that's not super boring. Um, you know, any kind of sporty things like go and do crazy golf or something like that where you don't need to be able to hear it. it's just fun and um, there's an activity that you're doing rather than it just being a sitting around talking sort of thing because if you're deaf you're not going to get very much from a group conversation so it's better if you're doing an activity um, next one is dealing with frustrations so I am like the kind of, I have never ever like before in my entire life, like I'm a very, very calm person. Like I have, I've like never once felt the urge to like punch someone, like ever. <laughs> I've never felt the urge to like hit someone or like, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not like that. So, um. Well, I mean, when I was like a child, I'd like fight my brothers or whatever. Um, but like, I've n never, you know, been really, really seriously like frustrated. Until now. Uh, now I am very frustrated. So I think the best ways of dealing with frustration, um, I think any like actual therapy professional would probably disagree with my points, but I'm just going to say them anyway. Number one is like exercise, um, and by exercise I mean um, my boyfriend who I was staying with the last couple of weeks. He's big into HEMA, which if you don't know is Historical European Martial Arts, which is basically, uh, he puts on like a, you, you know, you just fight each other with like <laughs> padded swords. So, well, in the real tournaments, they're like metal swords, but just I keep it keeping it a bit more a bit more safe. Um, so when I was there, he'd just put on his kind of fencing mask thing, and I would try and whack him with a big stick. Uh, that made me feel a lot better. I told him I was doing research for like a, a story that I'm writing, but I was actually just he watches these videos, so he'll know this now. But I just wanted to hit something with a stick and I thought it's fine he, he's like um I know it's something I just wanted to hit him with a stick but he's he's like very good he's very good at this humor stuff so he ended up hitting me way more than I hit him so it was, it's fine and it was all in sporting safe context uh, my next point is shouting at people that's also an excellent way of um, reducing frustration um, it's probably not great for your social relationships, but um, like my family don't mind that much if I shout at them. We all shout at each other anyway, um, so I just shout at people. Um, and uh, my third point is hitting stuff with a big stick slash axe slash sword. Um, that kind of relates to my first point, but um, also effective if you can't find some a person to hit with a stick axe or sword uh an inanimate object will do um trees just don't be mindful of the environment but like you can hit a tree with a stick like that's fine you can just just hitting just hitting stuff that's safe to hit. It's probably a good idea. So that is uh, my list of things. Thank you very much for uh, for watching. Um, yeah. Oh, also, someone on one of my videos left a comment saying that they thought I was getting a lisp. Um, I don't. I've asked everyone who like knows me. Well, not everyone who knows me, but like a few people and everyone's said that they don't think that I'm like my speech has changed since I lost my hearing. So it might be either I spoke like that before and that's just how I've always spoken or um, it could be due to the fact that I'm filming this on like my phone balanced on a stack of boxes. It's not a very, prof I haven't got like a proper it's, the audio quality is not going to be great, I don't think. 
So that's probably why I sound like I've got a lisp if I sound like I've got a lisp in my videos. Um, okay, well, thank you everybody. Um, bye. <laughs>